Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Janet, and I don't typically do videos looking like this. <laughs> so I wanted to just hop out here for a second because I'm sure everybody and their brother has been talking about the coronavirus. And so this kind of affected like our house, my household. My youngest son is still in school. Um, he's a freshman in high school. And a child in his grade that he doesn't have any classes with him, but he has classes with his girlfriend. And he sits with this kid at lunch. So he tested positive for the coronavirus. The common coronavirus is what they're saying. Um, so my son's texting me this and I'm asking him all these questions and then I ended up calling the school and had to leave a message. But in all fairness, she did call me back very, very quickly. And I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair. I'm gonna touch on that in a minute. So she did call me back and she goes, we, we don't have anything from a doctor. It's not confirmed that this child, and she said his name as well, which that's another problem. Did t She said that they don't have anything from a doctor, so it's not confirmed. And I was like, okay, so are you guys going to tell us? What are you going to do? Because apparently the teacher of the class that my son was in called up to the office and was telling them and then apparently some administrative staff actually came to his classroom and was saying yeah they know they're in contact with the child's mother and the school nurse and I'm like great so I couldn't get like I'm sorry, I saw a text coming from my boss because I was, we're actually texting, talking about coronavirus because the coronavirus is, there were seven people on a cruise ship that are now being airlifted to a military base, which is Dobbins Air Force Base in Marietta. And I happen to work like right beside of it per se like i'm real close like real real close so that's fun so anyways back to my son the day that this happened it was last thursday um so i had tried to focus on my work and get my work done and that just wasn't working so i went and picked him up early from school because I was concerned and worried and I just don't know what to do and I kept him home from school on Friday basically for my peace of mind I mean he has to go back I can't keep him out just because I think he might so there's that and then what I wanted to talk to you guys about also is my hair because I washed it today and typically I'm sure you guys have seen in other videos like my hair will be it's kind of frizzy and typically I'll just use a flat iron to fix those pieces because like the sides of my hair will be like <sighs> but today I used Can you guys see it? There we go. So it's the Wow Dream Coat. So I didn't buy the big bottle. This is the travel size, of course. It is 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 milliliters. So it tells you you have to section off your hair, spray this in it, and this is heat activated. So I did that and blow dried it 
Um, I put in a... What is that? I put in a heat protectant and this. Cause I, I'm not sure if this is a heat protectant, but I was just, yeah, dry. But guys, like, I mean, I did go and use the flat iron like I would just a little bit because my hair is like wavy and I'm just not about it. I prefer it to just be all straight, but so I ran the flat iron over it and look at, do you guys just see how straight it's like soft, like really soft and smooth. You see that? It's typically like right in here, especially where I have like my bangs cut because I keep them way shorter than the rest of my hair. Is usually like frizzy but it's not like they're all laying flat and smooth still look purple even though I use a blue shampoo I was just thinking like I need to go get my hair done because I want it bright I prefer it that way so I was thinking about how back-to-back -back I need to do appointments but so if you haven't tried this wow dream coat check it out because you're gonna like it it is on the more pricey side, I'll give you that. But I also picked up this WOW Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish. So I haven't used this yet. I think I'm going to use it tomorrow and see what happens because this is supposed to help make your hair shiny. And we about that, aren't we? <laughs> so I'm gonna see, but I've only used this once. Um, Nicole Guerrero, she had mentioned this probably a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And I looked into it, and because I'm too cheap, I didn't buy it. And then I realized they had a travel size and I found a coupon. So I was like, let's try this out. And I've only used it once, but I really like it, guys. So we'll see. But, and then I'll let you guys know about this one the for the shine. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to hop on here and give a quick update of what's going on. Um, I am a little behind on editing videos. Um, that's a whole nother story as to why. Give this video a like and leave me a comment. And I'll work on getting those. So. Oh, if you haven't, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, I need to put up another video about that. So don't forget to enter the giveaway that's going on. And I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.